Atahualpa kept his promise and amassed the fortune. Pizarro, however, broke his word and brought the Inca to justice. Amongst other things, the conquerors accused him of polygamy, fratricide, mutiny, and financial mismanagement. They executed him. After the death of Atahualpa, Pizarro entered Cusco. Manco, the brother of the murdered Huascar, asked for an audience after which Pizarro proclaimed him the new Inca ruler in the hopes of making Manco his intermediary and accomplice in plundering the vast empire. His plans, however, were foiled. The new emperor disappeared from Cusco and headed for the eastern mountains where he mustered forces for the struggle against the invaders. Meanwhile, the confident and self-complacent conquerors rummaged around the palaces, sanctuaries, and sepulchers of Cuzco, searching for more treasures. After ravaging Cuzco, the Spaniards scattered throughout the empire. The revolt which Manco led against the invaders changed little. The white conquerors became the masters of Tehuantinsuyu.
empire Tehuantan Suyu was one of the biggest states of ancient America. The capture of the power in the empire brought Spain an immense income and allowed the Spanish to invest considerably in new campaigns and colonies on the captured lands. But the natives didn't give up trying to resist the colonizers and caused considerable damage to their Spanish enemies for many years. The tribes who left for the mountains lived according to their own laws for a long time, and we could probably still find the remnants of lost golden cities in the Andes.